That's right, Jenna. Maybe a lot of people didn't realize that the restaurant inside of the CMHR is now open to the public and the food is absolutely amazing. What's really, really cool is when you book an event here at the museum, the other guys are going to be doing the catering. To tell us a little bit more about what's in store for you, I'd like to introduce you to Tony Hudson, the Director of Food and Beverage here. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thanks for letting us come down here. And we are in a beautiful setting. This space is actually one of many that we can uh, rent out for our special events. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about this particular area? This is the Garden of Contemplation. It'll hold about 140 people. We do beautiful receptions up here, past hors d'oeuvres, food stations, bars, everything. What an amazing setting. See, maybe people didn't even realize that you can rent out these spaces. And when we do, we're going to be treated to the delicious types of food that you guys have at the Bistro. So you, I was asking you a little bit about what kind of events or what would be uh, really conducive for this particular space. Do you have some specific examples? This space, again, we've done lots of receptions. Uh, we do cocktail receptions, dinners. We've done meetings up here, pretty much anything. Nice, and you mentioned that uh, the space can be sort of catered to the event, so we can Absolutely. set up bars, and we can set up food bars as well, right? Nacho bars, poutine bars everything. I love it. It's going to be this blend of all these great worlds and things coming together right here. But uh, so maybe the garden is great for some events, but mm -hmm. maybe we need something different depending on the gathering or the occasion. What are the other spaces that we could be using here at the museum? We do have the Senator Nancy Ruth boardroom, which is on the sixth floor. Beautiful space. There's a terrace across from that, which will hold about 60 people for a dinner, 80 people for a reception. Downstairs is our Bonnie and John Bueller Hall, which will hold about 400 for a dinner, uh, 750, 800 for cocktail reception. Uh, MTS classrooms, we've got meetings down there, we've got, um, sorry, it'll hold about 140 people for reception, again, dinner, so we're doing lots of Christmas parties, weddings, oh, cocktail yeah. receptions, everything. Holy smokes, okay, so, so many great reasons to be coming down and taking advantage of this, and when we do, you guys are going to be taking very good care of us, let me uh, very carefully, <gasps> I knocked over the chicken wellington, can you fix it so it looks pretty? Sorry about that, okay, take us on a little tour, so uh, when the, the servers are going around, having some hors d'oeuvres, these are the things we could be snacking on? Absolutely, we are passing our uh, bison sausage, which is made in-house, uh, vegetable well Wellington, uh, vegetable tempura, um, chicken satays, chicken wellingtons, and this is your favorite. Yeah, that is the uh, the beet stained arctic char. Absolutely delicious. And this is just a, a small sample of things that we might be able to have, but you guys can totally cater it depending on our taste. We will customize menus. We have a beautiful menu, uh, fresh ingredients, locally sourced. You can't go wrong. All right, Tony, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your time. Uh, we got to see uh, some of the cool spaces that we could be hosting the meetings in, but if you haven't seen the Bistro yet, it is a beautiful spot. So we're heading back down there to show you a couple of the other things that are on the menu. But first, I'll send it back to the BT Studio.